review, hood review, hood review, hood review. You reckon I can get one of them motherfucking hood reviews? <laughs> you sure can. Anyway, what's up? This Jeremy Holly Hood up in this thing. About to give you a review for Empire season number two, episode number five. Cause last week was four, right? Shit, I don't know, but we gonna make it episode number five in this thing. Anyway, big shout out to all the people that's been watching my reviews and coming and liking and all that kind of good stuff. And also, don't forget to check out my other three videos I put up this week. Five questions for white people, five questions for Mexicans, and five questions for black people. I'll put the little thingy up here somewhere so you can check them out. Anyway, enough of all that old bullshit. Let's go on and slide into this hood review. The show opens with Lucius getting the good news that he's free. I'm free, law. Free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Lucius. I killed the motherfucker and I'm free. <laughs> So Andre, he's so excited to be back to the fucking Empire. And he coming in this bitch looking all excited and shit. He just glad to do something and shit. So, and then here come Lucius on, on fuck the bad lawyer. I'm telling you, I need that lawyer. But don't it see like Lucius and um Andre, that could be father and son in real life. Anyway, Lucius, you better make a fucking statement thanking the fans. <laughs> the scene transitions into Tiana. Tiana look good, don't she? I like the little look she got going on there. I hate to see a chick with them eyebrow, them whatever you call this shit y'all put up here, and they be different colors. I hate that. I don't like that. But other than that, Tiana look good. She got the little hummer spirit. And then here come Hakeem bringing in his new little lead singer with the million dollar voice. She ain't no Shirley Caesar. She ain't no Karen Clark. She ain't no Jasmine Sullivan. She ain't no Patty LaBelle. So I don't, I don't think she no million dollar goddamn voice. <laughs> Anyway, but don't it look like Tiana looked at uh, Hakeem Million Dollar Singer like she want to eat the groceries, that she want to get up in it, or is that just me? On the scene when Andre walk up in the office and they're having like the welcoming party to welcome him to the Empire, the gutter. Anyway, so how the fuck Andre looking at Lucius like, like he mad or something. She, I wish a label would have a party like that for me. I'm going through the whole room. We fucking, hey, I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. You can fuck. Hey, back down. <laughs> you finna get fucked too. Look at this party they have for Andre. He looking like. Get the fuck out of here, Andre. You better be glad to smack some ass. <laughs> Chicks dancing on Andre. Why the fuck he looking up at Lucius like he that person? You know, like, let's say you're in a relationship and you say, hey, babe, I'm gonna bring somebody on here to fuck you. And you looking like, honey. This is not right. You're my wife. Why is he fucking me? <laughs> Why the fuck Andre looking up at Lucius like he doing some guilty shit or something? Andre, you ain't happy? I'm believing that Andre kind of regretting coming to this gutter label. He tried, I bet he tried to get back over there with Cookie label. Don't step that motherfucker back, Cookie. He ain't about shit. Look at Lucius in here directing Jamal like he a fucking choir director. I want to love Got them damn shades on, looking like Ray Charles. Get out here, Lucy, with that shit. <laughs> oh shit, here come Neo with his big head ass. Why Neo always got on a hat? Neo, well, I'm so sick of Neo with caps on his head. Take them caps off so we can see that big ass forehead. <laughs> Why the fuck Neo sent up here looking like L.A. Reid with that damn black ass Jimmy Jam Terry Lewis ass hat he got on. Anyway, so now Lucius telling Jamal, man, you can't be going on the road and bringing your peace with you. You got to be in seduction mode. I want to touch you. I want to teach you. I want to show you, baby. Dad, I need you. <laughs> actually, I actually want to roll with Luchas on this one. If I was out on the road, I'm going to want my baby with me. Stay at home, babe. I'm about to go out, do all this bullshit, make all this money, then come back home, and we can just fuck every day while I'm off. So I'm rolling with Luchas. I don't want to be on the road, traveling with the family, traveling with the babe, because I want to do a whole bunch of bullshit I don't need to be doing. It don't require a lot of fucking, but all the bullshit I want to be doing. I want to show you, baby. 
<laughs> so Andre out here not talking to the pastor. Wait, is this the is this Otis from the Temptation movie? Y'all, I promise you, I'm so bad with remembering people's names. Anyway, so look at old Otis trying to tell him that yeah, we got the therapist and she brought you to the law. Where Jennifer Hudson character at? You remember last season she was on here singing to Andre, rubbing all on his face and shit, and now she ain't nowhere to be found. But I don't know. Jennifer rubbed on Andre's body and her ass forgot all about them Weight Watcher commercial. If you gotta believe. <laughs> So Andre don't want to be over gutter life records. He don't want to be the president. He trying to be over what Sparrow records, Malico records, goddamn a gospel record label or something. <laughs> Anyway, and why Andre so humble? You tell me what you need to do, Pastor. I do it. Whatever you want me to do, I do it. Damn, you just a puppet, Andre. Your house ain't clean if your closet are dirty. Hmm, well my clothes are empty, so what the fuck they say about my house, Pastor? The pastor want Andre to go to his family and tell him confess all his sins and then invite him to the baptism. Andre was like, Pastor, I, I, I know I just told you I do what you want me to do, but I can't and confess all my sins to my family because I had to tell them I fucked up Vernon and they ain't gonna love me no more if they know I killed the motherfucker. <laughs> Now look at Tiana, she's sitting here chilling, and then the fans come in. Hey Tiana, can I get an autograph? Yeah, sure. And here come this old Muppet Mouse hole dropping a razor out of her mouth and rob Tiana for her pocketbook. I can't stand some shit like that. If people work hard for this shit, what make you think you can rob a motherfucker? Now we come back and Tiana bust up in the scene and tell everybody she just got mugged in the lobby or whatever. And then here come the DJ, the little chick saying, oh, look what I just seen on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck they put a video up on YouTube that fast? Who the fuck the muggers or whoever, what kind of service they got? Because I put my video up on YouTube, it take all fucking days to upload. But that video upload in HD and in five minutes between a commercial break? Shit, I need to get that server over here at my house. <laughs> Anyway, so they try to fuck with cooking and store money, money out of cooking, out of the line dynasty. Cooking, you better handle that shit. Call me. Call me. I got some shit that'll set that ass down for real. Oh shit, Jamal and his dude. To me, they just. Is it just me? But I ain't checking for it, but they just don't go together. They too moody. Too moody. Bitches don't go together. A dude and a female, a female and a female, a dude and a dude, whoever. Just moody. People don't go together. I could never be in a relationship with a moody on bitch. No. I cut up and joke a lot and crack jokes a lot. How I'm gonna be with somebody that's all moody? Mm -mm. Anyway, so the photographer took old Jamal <laughs> back off in the cut. <laughs> ready to get him some fellatio. That old man in my photographer wanna suck on him a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but Jamal just shut the little dream down. Damn, Portia, why the fuck you going to scam out on cook and get her go to jail so you get fired? But anyway, here come Portia busting up in the scene with Whoop the Whoop. I wish I had Whoop the Whoop last night to go downstairs to get my neighbor dog and Whoop the Whoop they motherfucking ass. That dog just ball so much. <laughs> Come on, Whoop the Woo, and bite this motherfucker downstairs and eat his hot dog mouth. Look at that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want Portia to lead the show. I want her to stay on the show. I like Portia's character. So don't fire her cooking. Put her ass on that probationary period, like you just said, but don't fire her. Keep her on the show. Cooking, send up in the front of home with Lucius, and they up here talking all over Vernon Ashes. When you die, do you want to be buried or cremated? I think I want to, oh, I don't like talking about this kind of shit. Cause I just got some life insurance today. <laughs> today. I don't wanna be, well I mean I had life insurance already but it wasn't a big policy. I got a big policy today. So if I come up fucked up, <laughs> y'all come to my address and get bait. <laughs> anyway, but do you wanna be cremated or buried? I think I wanna be buried. Because I don't know, when you cremated you don't exist no more. But I don't know. Anyway, so uh, Cookie asked him, did you kill Vernon? No, I didn't kill him. You gotta look at it. It seemed like oh, he wanted to say, but your motherfucking son and your daughter-in-law did. <laughs> oh, so the lawyer is about to take Vernon position. Come here, y'all, come here. But what the fuck was Vernon position? Cause I don't remember. <laughs> 
But Andre don't look like he happy about that. Andre, don't kill the lawyer. God damn. You can't just go around being Michael Miles just killing motherfuckers. But I believe Andre probably tried to fuck him up too. I appreciate if you set the glass on the table, leave my father's office, and don't come back till he return. Well, damn, Andre, you trying to put the lawyer out? You gonna fuck him up. I'm, like I just said, you gonna fuck him up. I already believe it, and I already see the shit happening. Andre trying to get some backbone. His ass be crying in a minute. I do what you say. I do what you say. Daddy, I want your love. <laughs> Now Jamal in the studio trying to make him music and his own fucking annoying ass dude just calling and talking. You want an open relationship. Hey, I'm telling y'all that open relationship shit work. I've been there before. That shit work. Open relationship eliminates cheating. I promise you. I know you're gonna be like, really? It really does. Anyway, Neo, how you giving somebody relationship advice? Did you just get your ex-wife to close her goddamn pussy up when she can't push out no more babies? Get out of here, Neo. We ain't taking no relationship advice from you, motherfucker. Damn, I do not like this song that Jamal recorded with Neo. Sound like a Michael Jackson human nature song. <sighs> What the fuck? Is this Free Willy Part 9? I don't like this song at all, Jamal. Damn. She, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, little daughter, just said Hakeem straight. Hakeem thought he was finna get him some cut from his lead singer, and his lead singer just cut his ass right on off. She ain't about that life. She ain't trying to fuck her way to the top. <laughs> there go my good Becky. She ain't getting off the couch this week. Y'all know last week, Becky was trying to struck off that couch. She's like, so um, Jamal's like, where my boy at? Where my dude at? And so he looking for his dude. And guess who he on the back, back of it with? The motherfucking photographer out there. Suck a dick. <laughs> that photographer is thirsty for him some dick. Well, damn, I told y'all what I told y'all on my top five things about white folk. White folk love some dick, don't they? <laughs> Anyway, so Jamal would have that and look at his dude. Yeah, he thought he was in an open relationship. I thought y'all had already discussed this. No, you shouldn't be jumping on the photographer even though he is full of shit. You should be running up to your dude kicking his ass because he the one that got no heart for the goddamn mouth. A cook up here talking to Degato. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck his name is. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm bad on character names, so I'm gonna call him whatever I can think of. Anyway, so cook up here talking, and who in the background you hear that stinky ass whoop the woo? I had trauma and, and flashbacks from last night when I was trying to sleep for my neighbor dog barking sign. Just like whoop the woo. I'm telling you, I wish I had some way to get to that dog with some antifreeze. His ass would have been shit as shit when I got through with him. <laughs> Anyway, so Cook be here chilling, talking to the boy, and somebody broke her office trying to steal her motherfucking masters. I like how she pulled that gun on his, on his get out, bitch. <laughs> I like that. Cookie, you should have shot the motherfucker. If I was in the sh on the show, I would have shot the motherfucker and said, oh, I thought y'all said shoot in the script. My bad. Get him to the hospital, motherfucker trying to steal. I think thieves should be shot the fuck up. Look at Gabourey Sidibay on here sleeping on Jamal Cow. See Jamal, when your dude was out fucking get his dicks up by another old tired ass motherfucker, you should have slid back and legs apart and went straight and got up in that big long old pussy. <laughs> Andre come up in here with old tight ass Hakeem. Don't Hakeem look like that spoiled ass little brother or nephew that get everything he want, how he be holding his mouth, old perch mouth motherfucker. Anyway, so he want to confess all his faults to his family to bring them back together. Listen, I love the Lord and I believe he died for my sin, but I'm not about to go to different people and confess what I did. Don't you know I'd be fucked up? Don't you know my name would be Jeremy Hollywood Burning Dead Motherfucker? I'm not gonna tell my homeboy how I fucked this little cousin. <laughs> I ain't finna get fucked up. And I can't tell my sister how I used to steal all her food when we were little growing up. You think I'm finna tell that? You think I'm about to call Nationwide Insurance and tell them how I scammed to get that damn last $900 check from them for my car? I can't go confessing to people and confessing to things I did wrong. I would be fucked up. So no, that's not the way I'm gonna go. No, pastor, no, I'm not confessing. What the fuck are you, the Pope? We having a confessional now, motherfucker? <laughs> 
No, Andre, stop confessing everything. Andre telling Lucy he tried to kill himself. Oh, she, he snitched on him. He set him up. No. And then look at old Lucy. You, you, you think <laughs> I'm going to go somewhere <laughs> and let somebody dip you down in tap water and think they're going to make you whole? Yes, Lucy, that's what they do. The blood of Jesus make us whole. You need to get them on you before we put foots in your ass. Lucius, 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 the Antichrist, he ain't no Andre trying to get closer to the law or something. God, King, by the time you be a gentleman getting out here with that old damn uh, puff that ass suit on. <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. Anyway, so by the time he be a gentleman, he grow, he ride up, roll up on Jennifer Lopez, little cousin, and tell her, you know, I don't want to fuck you. I don't want to have sex with you. It's good to see you ain't trying to get down like that. That's good. Then he told about. My driver will take you wherever you want to go, and I'll catch a cab. And shit, now, I like you, and I respect you, but I'm not finna give up my ride to catch no motherfucking cab. Do you know how these Uber people are raping people out here? Oh, no. I'm not about to get in no cab or no Uber. We well, gonna scoot your ass over. I'm gonna keep my hand to myself, and we gonna ride in the same car together. Oh, Fantasia rapping. Yay! Oh, anyway, so Fantasia, she tried to rap, but she not rapping. Here come Lucia. Uh, uh, your daddy uh, cut off his right arm, and then he'll hook with the left arm. If the daddy cut off his right arm, I wonder can he file for accidental dismemberment, or will he be able to get his disability started? <laughs> ah! Now we up on the church scene. Now they know Empire, Empire, Empire. Now y'all know this ain't no black church about to have no baptism. What kind of fuck shit is this? Playing that organ and Halloween music. You know you're supposed to have the Mississippi Mass Choir. I went down to the fountain and my soul, my soul got another dip. You you know you're supposed to have a choir in there singing and dipping it all down. Get out of here. This ain't believable, Empire. You losing 20 cool points tonight for this church scene. Lucius busts up in the scene at the church. Everybody getting ducking covers and shit. Why everybody tripping on Lucius? Everybody welcome in the church How Jesus is for everybody. Not just saint, sanctified folks and church folks. Jesus is for everybody. Even Lucius on Lucifer ever looking ass, motherfucker. <laughs> You know, I ain't never been baptized, like, took down in the water. I got baptized where they sprinkled the water on my head. But I ain't never went down in the, in the tub. That water, I bet that water be cold and get on your body and shrink your nuts up and shit. Anyway, Andre can't even get baptized good without Lu Lucius having a flashback when his mama took him down in the water, dipped his ass down, and she was saying to his ass and dipping him down, Lucius, you just need to go get you some counseling. Or better yet, you need to get Otis from the temptation to come baptize your ass and get them demons out you. That's why you keep having them flashbacks, because you're too fucking mean. Every mountain, Jesus. Here go Hakeem, he running all through the park and stuff smiling because he just went to church and had him a good Sunday dinner <laughs> and some goons jumped out on that ass and snatched him up. You either get down or lay down. <laughs> and they snatched that little ass up. They got him hostage. Lord, they got Hakeem hostage. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> all right, hood folks, that's it. That's it. That's it. Empire was actually better this week for me. Last week was kind of, but this week was actually better. So it seemed like the show was about to pick up. And by the time we get to the end of the season, it'll be like a fire show like last season. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. Watch the rest of them or I'm going to have to come to your house. And I'm going to have to baptize you in some of that water, that tap water that Lucius said that Andre was going to get baptized in. But when I take you down that tap water, I'm going to throw a blow dryer in there too in your ass. <laughs> anyway, for real, for real, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all back after the World Series, whatever the fuck that is. And I'm out this bitch. Motherfucker, bye.